Delulu is the Salulu. Delulu is the what? Delulu is the Salulu. Dude, you're a 29 year old man. Yeah, but I feel 28 and a half. Delusion is not the solution. I'm starting to suspect that against this big and cruel world, it might be a good one. What are you trying to solve? Remaining optimistic despite horrible odds, getting what I want out of life, um, staying sane, that sort of thing. How is denying the truth of reality going to help you navigate reality? Because I suspect that delusional beliefs will motivate me to act and keep me happy in objectively unhappy situations. That sounds like a flawed strategy. But it's worked before. So many great actors and singers and entrepreneurs and artists and just great people from all walks of life had a delusional level of self-belief when they started out, which obviously wasn't grounded in evidence back then, but they needed that to get going. I don't think all of them did. And besides, there's a serious case of survivorship bias here. Delusion may have helped some of them, sure, but you don't know how many it broke. You don't know if it's a good strategy. But to some extent, everyone has delusions and untruths they live by. Even you. Mm, no, I don't. Of course you do. They're necessary to navigate life. No. Approximations are necessary, or heuristics, or rules of thumb, but those are vastly different from delusions. Define delusion. A false belief or judgment about external reality despite incontrovertible evidence to the contrary. Right, you definitely have those. What delusions do I have? You think your actions matter. Mm, they do matter. Prove it. People are affected by them. Yeah, but... Do you matter in the grand scheme of things? Depends on the story you want to tell yourself. And that would be the delusion. But a story isn't a false belief about external reality. It's a set of values we impose upon it. It's a decision about what information to leave out. Well then, how do you stay positive then? In the face of all the terrible things happening? And don't say ignorance. I don't think you have a choice to. It's not a delusion, it's a decision. Hey, I think I might have the solution here. I'm all is. Delulu is... Kind of the Salulu. See? I think there's a place for faith that is belief without evidence in a healthy psyche. Are we really opening this can of worms as well? Consider the example of James Stockdale, Medal of Honor recipient, a Stoic, trapped in a prisoner of war camp in Vietnam for seven years, subject to daily torture, unimaginable conditions, just pure horror. Hey, it's like living with you. Thanks. But he made it out. He didn't break. He didn't crack. Want to know how? Is the answer delusion? Faith. He said it was the optimists, those that hoped that they would be free by Christmas or by Easter, that didn't make it out. Instead, he said you must never confuse the faith that you're going to prevail with the discipline to confront the most brutal facts about your current reality. I mean, that kind of sounds like delusion to me. And it's since been called the Stockdale Paradox. You must be realistic, but you must also have faith that things are going to be all right. Oh, come on. This is practically the definition of survivorship bias. But in fairness, it does capture an element of what I'm trying to say here. That's really funny because stoicism prides itself on being rational. I think it's more courageous to face reality and hold firm despite what it shows you. Maybe even in spite of what it shows you. However, stoicism is riddled with delusions. How so? You can pick anywhere. The whole you can control your thoughts thing. Firstly, not true. Secondly, try telling that to someone who has ADHD. That's unrelated to the point he's trying to make. So what do you do when all the evidence says you should give up? You have to try. Because how else are you going to win? That's not delusion. That's logic. But we're not logical beings. We're emotional ones. You don't just logic your way to every decision. You need some emotional backing for that. And because of that, whatever you need to do to marshal your courage might just be worth it.